Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna get ready today, but this is not gonna be a video about makeup at all. I actually just wanna to talk to you about something while I'm getting ready. So I have a story for you, and today's video is going to be about mom guilt, mom shaming, life as a mom, the good, the bad. I feel like I talk a lot about marriage on my channel, my marriage, me as an individual, but I don't talk much about me being a mom. But on Instagram, I'm like only posting about my daughter and talking about being a mom. So I think I need to combine my two worlds and we're gonna talk about being a mom today. So if you wanna watch me put my makeup on and talk about that with me, then please keep watching and make sure to subscribe before you leave and like and comment and interact with me. So let's get started. So the funny story is I have been running a ton of errands with moving you know I've had a lot of things to do I had to return our router that we were renting from Comcast because we switched internet providers I had parked the car right on the curb of the store the store had like a huge window like I mean a massive window I just left the car there Ireland was in the car my purse my phone like everything I was just quick running in and literally dropping it off as I'm in there, I can see out the window, I can see into my car the whole entire time. I see this lady looking at my car, and so I go out and this older woman is like, is this your car? I'm like, yep. And she goes, you know it's illegal to leave your child in the car. And I was like, okay, well it was all of maybe 60 seconds at the most. She goes, it's still illegal. And I'm like, okay, like I don't know what you want me to say. Do you want me to apologize to you? What like? What do you want me to say to that? And she goes, you're a bad mom. And I just, it took me aback. Like I, I could not care less what this lady said. But I hear so many things about mom shaming, especially things revolving around like breastfeeding. You know, women who are nursing in public will be told like that's disgusting. You should not let your kid do that. Your kid's way too old or just like in general, breastfeeding is gross. I've never had anyone say something to me in person. Obviously, I know people think things about my parenting decisions and whatnot. We all do, but I just, I was like shocked that someone in person like had the nerve to say something to me. And it just made me realize like we need to talk more about what being a mom is like and we need to be more respectful of each other. And let me preface this by saying I am judgmental, okay? Just like my Mormon culture video where I'm pointing out all the things that are annoying and that I don't like. I'm totally at fault, right? I'm judgmental. I'm not saying like I'm perfect or, you know, I'm taking my own advice here. But I will say for all the like judgments I make in my head, I would never comment on a post or in person say something to someone unless I like seriously, you know, saw that their kid was about to fall and like get in serious like danger or injured or something then I'd be like hey lady your son is blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean like obviously if it's in a helpful way then I would say something if I felt like the need to but there's just so much that moms go through and let me tell you I have the easiest daughter ever like Ireland slept through the night pretty much from the moment she was born. She never really cried. I never had any issues nursing her. She's always been a really good listener when we tell her no, like she's just an easy baby. But being a mom is still like emotionally taxing. There is so much pressure on you, especially if you're a stay at home mom, but any mom in general, to raise this little person to be great. And we all know there are a lot of bad things that happen in the world, right? All these horrible tragedies, even just natural disasters, and it's pretty scary what we're bringing our kids into and the world that they're gonna have to face. And it's a lot of responsibility to raise them to be good people and to make good decisions and stay out of trouble and be nice. Like, so many kids are freaking brats and so disrespectful and rude and like, losers like they don't want to do anything with their lives besides play on their phones or tablets or who knows you know we have a responsibility to try to make our kids smart and have moral 
compasses and choose good decisions for right and wrong and to be healthy and safe like just that alone the fact that you are responsible for keeping this human alive and safe like there's only so much you can do i have this huge fear literally every time i like enter or get off a freeway usually when i get off the freeway i just imagine like some accident happening and me going over like the edge of like into a ditch or like over a cliff or something and hearing my baby screaming crying in her car seat because she's trapped but i'm trapped and i can't get to her or let's say freaking killed on impact and my kid's just there to suffer like i i literally think about these horrible horrible scenarios and we have to do everything we can to keep our kids safe at all times and it's very overwhelming and especially you know with social media and blogging and whatnot you compare yourself to other moms and you think or you see these other kids and you think they're smarter than your kid or hitting milestones before you were a kid. I remember when Ireland was like, I don't know, seven, eight months old or something, I saw a video of another kid who was born the same month of her and he knew animal noises. And she didn't at all. And I was like, oh, she's capable of learning that right now? Like I would have never even thought to teach her that yet. And I felt like my kid's way behind and I'm like a bad mom for not like reading books to my kids more and teaching her things. I just, I felt really guilty. You know, moms are just, we're hard enough on ourselves. We don't need other people bashing us, especially publicly commenting on our things or, you know, just telling you you're a bad mom, like that lady. Literally, you knew one thing about me, that I left my kid in the car for at the most 60 seconds and you're labeling me as a bad mom because of that. Okay. Why are we so quick to be so rude to others? I will tell you, I have plenty of friends and acquaintances and people who I see how they raise their kids and I would not do things the same way. Or I see decisions they make or things they let their kids do or eat or say, get away with, whatever. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like, have a backbone, change this, change that. Like, I, I think these things, but I would never say them because they're the parent. I'm not your kid's mom. It's not my call. It's not my say. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. Either they don't know any better or they're too lazy to do something else or that's what they think is best. So, like, we're all just doing what we think is the best thing for our kid and what we think will make our kids the happiest or the best or what I guess a lot of moms do whatever they think is best for them as the mom. I've heard moms say like, yeah, I know I shouldn't let my kid do this or I know I should enforce this, but just for my own sanity, I have to be lazy or lackadaisical or let them do this because I would go crazy trying to stop them or whatever. You know, mom's gotta take care of themselves too in order to take care of others. So I just don't know why, like we're so, so quick to criticize, especially publicly. Like being a mom, You, it's so crazy because I, if you look at my Instagram posts, I will one second be like, I just am so overwhelmed with how much I love my daughter. Like she's the most special, amazing thing. She's so smart and so sweet and I just love her so much and I'm so grateful. And then the next post is like, being a mom is hard. I'm so stressed and I'm so impatient and I'm like losing my patience with her and getting so frustrated by this or even the moments where like your kid is like teething or sick and there's not very much you can do to help them. And you just want to take away their pain so badly, but you can't. Or, you know, you want them to have this toy they want that they saw at the store. Like you wish you could buy them every little thing in the world, but you know that you don't want to raise your kid to be a spoiled brat. Or, you know, you have to take something away. And it's just hard being a parent. Even when you have the easiest of kids, it's a huge responsibility and a huge like emotional burden so we really don't need other people telling us what to do you know especially when it's coming from people that we actually do like respect or love you know or close friends or family it is so hard getting crap from people about 
Why do you let them do this? Why are you still breastfeeding? It's my boob. It's my baby. It's not your call. It doesn't affect you. Uh, the list goes on and on. Like, there's so many things that people criticize and talk about and you just can't please everyone. And this goes for every little thing in life, but especially moms, we seriously try so hard and we already have so much on our plate trying to take care of our husbands, take care of ourselves, take care of our home, take care of our kids. And of course, you know, your kids, your husband and your family is your number one priority. But like, I just don't understand the need for mom shaming. Mom guilt is freaking strong enough. I was talking to someone the other day about this woman who left her kid in the car and something really bad happened, but it's like everyone was going crazy on her on Facebook and like in the town that she was in telling her she's a horrible mom and it's like you don't think she feels guilty enough already on her own like she doesn't need the whole freaking town and internet going after her women are so hard on themselves already we're always criticizing our own appearance our house everything we have we're comparing it to other people and saying like oh my stuff isn't as good as theirs or I don't have what they have or I can improve in all these areas or especially in the gospel if you're Mormon like spiritually right we go to church every Sunday we have general conference and state conference and all these different meetings where we're being told basically how to improve our lives and they're all good things it's all stuff that will just make us happy here's the thing we all fall short we all lose our patience we all have moments of weakness where we look back and we regret a decision we made. It's great to have these things telling us like how we can improve and there's so many resources on the internet that, you know, it's so nice that we can learn things, you know, like sleep training or discipline and it's awesome. We're always able to be getting more information and learning and learning from others and asking people for help. I've loved being able to do that on social media asking what's the best sippy cup or whatever advice but you're the mom you're the one who makes the decisions pretty much day in and day out of course you know dad is there to be included and help but a lot of the time it's mom okay we just we know that we don't need other people telling us how to raise our kids or what's best for them I just I can't believe all the mom shaming and bashing that goes on it's so sad I'm an open person you guys know that I am NOT one to bite my tongue or have a filter but there are some things that you just don't need to say your opinion on someone nursing their baby does not matter you don't have a say in that if someone wants to spank their kid that's their choice you don't have a say in that but let me go further and say this it is also up to us to not get offended for example you know we're really crazy about what we eat. So we only eat organic grains and everything has to be like whole wheat or oats. So one of the most common children's snack foods is goldfish. So I've been on play dates where kids are eating goldfish or a nursery on Sundays, little kids go to the nursery class and they have snack and very often the snack is goldfish well my kid doesn't eat goldfish if there were organic whole wheat goldfish she probably would i'm not gonna let her eat those things because that's just not something that i'm comfortable with and there have been times where other kids are eating them and ireland like grabs one and eats it and i take it out of her mouth and i say no you can't eat that and i know that the mom whose kid is eating it is probably like, oh, geez, these are bad. Like, now I feel like a terrible person because I'm letting my kid eat it, but you're not letting your kid eat it. Why does it matter what I do with my kid? If you were comfortable letting your kid eat those goldfish, then you just keep on letting your kid eat goldfish. If you are comfortable still breastfeeding or spanking or vaccinating or whatever it may be, if you're comfortable and you enjoy doing that, nothing anyone says should affect your decision. Unless you were already second guessing it and you think that maybe this person has a point and you want to 
stop doing that, but that's the only thing I can think of that would make me say, all right, this person has a point. We're always gonna be criticized, there are always gonna be rude people out there who have something to say to tear you down. We just can't really let it affect us, even though home moms, we're emotional, we're tired, we have a lot going on, we have enough guilt and pressure on us as is. Especially the more kids you have, I mean, I don't know because I'm not there yet, but when your kids are in school or in sports and you want them to do well and you want them to be successful, and you've got like multiple different kids you're trying to juggle and balance and I know I have friends with multiple kids and that pressure is on you feel responsible and it's partially because you are if your kid turns out to be a big punk it might be your fault because you raised them to be that way but I don't need someone else telling me oh your kid is this and it's your fault you're a terrible parent because your kid is this way or you did this and that makes you an awful parent I hate it my vaccine video. I can't tell you all the comments that I get saying, how could you do this to your poor child? How could you do this to other children? It's my decision. I feel comfortable with it. I've, for whatever reason, whether I've done plenty of research or no research, this is what I came up with for my family. This is what we're doing. Spanking eating habits, bottles, nursing, bedtimes, sleep training, co-sleeping, whatever. If you think about when you have a baby, you make every little decision for them. They don't make decisions on their own. So every single little thing they do is up to you. That's a lot of decisions to make. And not everyone is gonna agree with the ones that you choose. And it really sucks when it comes from family members. You know, I have people close to me cousins, friends, I see them doing things that I totally disagree with all the time. And I could call them out, but I don't. They could call me out for things that they disagree with. Sometimes they do. I just, I stand up for myself. My daughter's almost 16 months old and she's still breastfeeding. I choose not to vaccinate. Very often she isn't wearing a coat even though it's chilly here because for the safety of my daughter, I don't put her in the car seat with a coat. The number of kids you choose to have, the way you choose to space them out, like that is all a personal decision. I get honestly insulted so many times about the way I look and the way I let my marriage be and the way I raise my daughter. I choose to put my life out there publicly because I want to be real. I want to be open and honest. I want to share real things, hard things, messy things, sticky things, politically incorrect things. I want people to know that they are not alone. The whole purpose behind my channel and my posting things is for people who may be experiencing things or feeling the same way as me to know they're not alone and to hopefully inspire and motivate people somehow, somewhere. If you see something online that you don't like, you can keep scrolling. You don't have to comment on it and say something rude. You don't have to call someone out and make someone feel like they're less than and that you're better than them. If you are insecure about something you do, putting someone down isn't the way to make you feel better about yourself. You know, I consider myself a tough person, but one can only take so much criticism and even not towards me, but seeing it happen to other people. Really, that's what has motivated me to make this video is that I see the things other people have to experience too and it sucks and I know I'm not the only one who has their family members telling them why aren't you vaccinating why are you still breastfeeding or saying you should do this or you shouldn't do that you don't have to be ashamed for the decisions you make my kid is really easy I didn't have a difficult time with a lot of things should I feel like I need to hold back from talking about that because there are other people who are struggling no if you're struggling, do you need to be ashamed that being a mom is hard or you have postpartum depression or your kid's really difficult or whatever it may be? No, we can't be afraid of what other people are gonna say and when people do say rude things, we need to brush it off. And when we have a rude thought or comment or opinion, not that I think my opinion's rude, I just know there's no need to say it. It's what I think, it's what I feel, but I don't have to share it. I can keep scrolling or I can keep my mouth shut. Being judgmental, we're all gonna do it. 
We're all gonna have thoughts and opinions on what other people are doing and saying, but we don't need to share it. We don't need to be mean. And if you think you're helping, most likely you're not. But if any of you have been mom shamed or you feel mom guilt or you've been told that you're a bad mom or what you're doing is wrong, keep doing you. Do what's best for your family. Do what you feel is right and what you think is gonna be best for your kid and best for you and what is gonna make everyone happy in the long run because that's what matters. To all moms out there, you rock. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.